What's up, guys? Iggy here with Faltac Garage, and today I, I kind of have, um, well, I'm doing some more stuff. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of crunch time. I've been working on the Cuda, I've been working on the Buick, I've been doing a few things, and uh, let me show you what the latest thing was that I'm doing. And, you know, I'm already halfway done, and I decided to start filming, so, but let's, let's get, let's get into this. I have taken apart two steering columns, one of which was mounted inside the, uh, the CUDA and one I bought at Chrysler Carlisle this past July. Uh, you can see literally all the little components and whatnot. What you do see as well is these I have sandblasted. I have taken the better parts, cleaned them up, and I'm going to be sandblasting, cleaning uh, again. And we're going to be powder coating. So hopefully everything comes out good. Um, it, it will be a flat black color. This is the original. Um, but this, I don't need this. If you notice, it has the um, park reverse drive. It has the gear select up here. Well, I don't have a need for that because my CUDA is a bench, or a bench, is a, a floor shift. So the weird thing is whoever owned this car before my family bought it, what they did is they, they took it all apart. I don't know what the story was or what led. I know what led up to it. So pretty much the car was bought in California in 1970, brand new off the lot. It was driven to Florida and then the owner died. From what I know, the owner's family took it over. It Throughout the years, it just went from barn to barn. The family didn't want it. And my father and I were looking for a 70 or 71 to rob parts off of. When we bought this, we saw that it had 3,860 original miles, Florida to California. There's the miles right there. And uh, so we sold the 71 and we kept the 70. But we bought this car with zero interior. And it only makes sense that the steering column, which was a column shift, was only put in to steer the car around to move it. What happened to the original? I don't know. But the one I pulled out of the car was a 69 date code right on it. So it's period correct it works and we're gonna we're gonna redo it so i'm on the second floor of my garage I, i'm getting everything it's already been blasted i'm cleaning it now i'm wiping it down blowing it off and i just do this diy i have an eastwood gun i got a home oven up here in my garage and you know what no booth i'm gonna open my garage door and spray it out it is what it is you gotta do what you gotta do so let's get to it just put my oven to uh, 400. I'm, I'm preheating it right now. I'm going to go ahead, get my gun all set up, get the powder in. This is just Harbor Freight powder. I actually don't have flat black from Eastwood. I have gloss black, but I, I don't want to do this gloss black because uh, it's originally flat black. Um, so let's get it all set up. Sadly, it just snowed, so this is, this is what I got. It's working. So, all I care about. So again, it's a shame, but it's also a very old oven and it's, it's, <laughs> It's seen some better days. So, um, if you know my other channel, Faltec Unlimited, I do Kydex holsters, and within that channel, I rock the. So, I have this one set to 400 degrees, and then once it melts, then uh, then I'll be fine. So, if you notice, I really didn't spray the inside because the inside, one, it's not going to be seen. It's not. It's going to be filled with grease, so I'm not too worried about the inside. So, we'll see how that goes. I have. I have these guys hanging here for now because they ended up hitting the part when it's inside the um, the oven. So I'm just gonna wait on that and see see how they come out. It says um, to bake, you have to follow the instructions, and it says to bake 15 to 20 minutes after it flows, which means after the powder has turned to paint, um, do it 15 to 20 minutes after that. So uh, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and probably powder coat the rest of the stuff. But first, I want to see how these come out, and I want to compare it to the original finish. So, but while that's in the oven, let's go take a look at the car. I found out Christmas Eve that um, Classic Industries was running a sale on um, just on the site. 
So I ended up buying, it was like two or three hundred dollars worth of um, steering wheel components. And uh, so I got those so I could finish this. And they're running another sale that ends tonight. Um, and I found out I need a couple floor pans, but $300 right now, uh, I'll wait a little bit and probably till they're running another one, but I got a couple, couple more bucks to play around with and, uh, but, but here it is. So here it is right now. Last time you saw it on the channel, it had all the glass and all the trim. Uh, this is a headliner that is wrong. So I'm trying to sell that, but, um, dashboard is protected from this painter's blanket right now, but I got all the dash out. Uh, not the dash, sorry, all the glass, all the trim. Uh, I did find small rust hole right here that I'm gonna pretty much cut out and fix. And then this one, I'm just gonna grind and uh, weld shut, so there's that one. And then in the back, in the center, there was one tiny hole. But I found, let's see here, open this guy up, see how clean it is. And like I was saying, someone installed this shifter that's not the real shifter to the car and they just it's just nothing was right but poking around I found that rod hole which can be fixed but if you notice there's already been a patch right here and my father didn't like that and because of that where is it I ordered a new pan which is right there so I wasn't gonna put it in but now that I found that rust hole I'm just gonna replace this panel replace this panel and I found all that right there. So, might as well order, it's $100 a piece, and then it's like, they're charging $40 each for shipping, which is absolutely ridiculous, but it's because it's oversized. So, Classic Industries, thanks for that. But whatever, it needs to be done, so I'm just thinking about it as $150 a piece. I need to get those. I want this car going to Carlisle, which is in July. I don't remember the exact dates, but I have a lot of work to do with it. Um, again, all original car, 440, 727. And this car is gonna be is gonna be mean when it's done. But let me show you the mileage, and this is no joke. It is the original dash to the car, 3,690 miles. And you know, like that's coming off. I need to replace some things. If you notice, part of the bottom right of the dash is gone. Uh, I found it cracked, so I ended up ordering a new one from Classic Industries. And uh, you know, the glove box is sitting behind me, but. I ripped all this down, got it cleaned up. So there is a few things to do on this car before then, but I think regardless if I finish it or not, it's gonna go, but the car does run. So that's a plus. So that's something I don't have to mess with. Although, you know, I'm, I'm for sitting for so long, I'm gonna replace the fuel pump. Uh, I'm gonna drop the gas tank. We're gonna clean the gas tank or replace it. I haven't really decided that yet. And then just kind of go from there because right now it is having a fuel delivery problems um but we'll go from there but i'm going to check on that because it should be up to temperature by now and we'll see what's going on oh yeah oh okay i'm liking that again this is a flat black so obviously that shine will not be there but we'll see where it goes so the powder finally ran and here is the old one that I'm not using. Check out the new one. That's looking good. Digging it. I'm actually really happy with how it came out. And, like, check it out. Here's the crappy one that I'm not doing. And here's the one that just came out. Now, that right there was a blemish in the metal and now that i think about it i think from here on out i might strip these but from here on out definitely sand down the the material because powder coat will show every imperfection so um question is do i like that but then again like that's really only it and then let's see that's that's just a dent in the metal but um it's really not terrible and then this one this one came out really good too so we'll see in it right now um these items didn't need to be done but it is uh pretty much the lock there we go that is the locking ring and the plate for the locking ring so those just reached 400 degrees and we'll let them uh cook for 15 to 20 minutes and uh take them out 
Next ones are gonna be this guy. This one right here. We'll do that one. And we're gonna have to do this guy. The, uh, I forgot what this is called actually, but I know it's a crush housing or, anyway. But we're gonna do these little guys too. I got new bearings, new hardware, new um, wiper switch. I got everything new coming in, new bearings, seals, all that stuff, so it should be fun. And then what I'll do is I'll film putting it together so you guys can see that. So until next time.